welcome back to the Science Kid. Today we're going to be talking about the Vex Robotics Hexbug Crossbow. So today you're going to be learning how to build it. Is it fun to play with and is it worth your hard earned cash? Let's cut to a time lapse of me building it. I'm starting to build the Vex Robotics Hexbug Crossbow. Man, that's, that's a mouthful. So like last time that I built a Vex Robotics Hexbug uh, thing, uh, it was fairly hard to put together. The pieces were not very easy snap. So on the box it says over 200 easy connect snap pieces. They do snap together, but as they snap together they also snap your fingers. And that does not feel good. So basically at the end of doing this, your fingers are going to be very sore, as like mine were. Now this one was a little bit easier and didn't take me as long as the Vex Robotics Hexbug Gatling Gun. Now if you haven't seen that video yet, there's going to be a link in the top left. So basically with this gun, you start to put together the base and you put on the angle. There's a thing on the side of the crossbow where it shows you all the different angles. It's 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, and 50 degrees. Now, I did an experiment with this crossbow. And for one of my friends, I gave him this same crossbow. Now, I used both and did an experiment. I shot both of them to see which would go the farthest distance and how far they would both go. So, as it turns out, the angle did not show correctly as they went 42 feet or, or as you people that use the metric system 12 meters which I thought was fairly surprising because most boxes don't tell you the exact length that it's going to travel a normal projectile that is fired is normally not going to go at the farthest distance at 30 degrees. It's normally at 45 degrees, which means that the angle is incorrect. Every angle is about 15 degrees off, which I think is a little strange. Now with the instructions, once again, there was some issues with it. When you were looking at one part of the instructions, it would show you some pieces in the incorrect color or sometimes it would be in the incorrect placing. And so you really need some engineering skills to put it together. But after you put it together after a little while, it turns out just fine. So basically instructions not so good, but the end product worked out just fine. Okay, so now you have seen how to build the Vex Robotics Hexbug Crossbow. Man, I gotta stop saying that, that's a long word. Um, is it worth your hard earned cash? I would say it is, because it's only $20 and I bought it on Amazon with another two other Vex Robotics Hexbug shooting things. So I would say it is worth the $20. Now, is it fun to play with? Well, let's find out. So in conclusion, this project was a very fun project, and surprisingly it said everything there was on the box. Now for this crossbow there was also a handheld version, but I found it out after I built the crossbow, and as you know it really hurts my fingers to put it together and take it apart, and during the project I had to put it together and take it apart multiple different times because there were parts that were jammed and parts that weren't working and other parts that wouldn't fit together. So I just didn't take it apart, but I might do it in a later video. So make sure to like and subscribe and maybe you'll see it in the next video. See you guys next time. Bye bye